Dale Matthews Grants Pass. Lock up your daughters. Stay off the road. Simon Hare has been caught drinking again. Simon Hare used the telephone of a stranger and picked it up. There were no pictures on the phone. He just dialed, he just sent messages to the first two people on the phone. Now these just as easily have, could have turned out to be a six-year-old girl or a sixteen-year-old boy. And one of them he said, God, I gotta get in your pants. I of course they don't need to have the recitation word for word. I'm not just talking to you. Well, I didn't so say I, but I'm talking to you. I'm saying and I would appreciate that, it if you would show some that the, sense of decorum. I'm saying Mr. that the well, can you give me an opportunity to speak? I'll suspend the clock. That's fine. Suspend the clock. Okay. Mm -hmm. I, I would appreciate that. We're not going to all the salacious details. You can you can say these things in general terms. Uh, you know, the comments were made were inappropriate, and, and leave it at that. I, I don't care to hear the verbal recitation of every verb that was used. Of course you don't. You can start the clock again. Well, you may want to have a discussion with Commissioner Hare about what he texted. And maybe you can give him a moral recitation of how you think people should act, especially in public. Now, the big problem with this happened is after this brave guy came up, this is about half a dozen times we've heard this kind of stuff before, but no one would come to the weekly business session or say anything in public. This fellow, this father, who was threatened by Simon Hare with legal action if he told anybody, he came to this podium and spoke. I criticized the Daily Courier, saying I didn't think they were going to do any kind of reporting on this. Lo and behold, they did. Now, I went to two different meetings, this one in the City Council, and criticized them. And Jim Moore, who's sitting in this audience, says, wrote that Hare thought it, the phone belonged to a friend, and Hare thought it would be a fun prank. And then Jim Moore of the Daily Courier wrote, on this much of the story, everyone involved agrees. Now, Jim Moore spoke with the family. Where does this sentence on this much of the story, everyone involved agrees? That's not journalism. How did that come into the story? I'm in almost daily contact with the deacons. Was before he came here. And so where does Jim Moore come up with on this much of the story, everyone involved agrees? That's just a falsehood. Now, if we're going to get falsehoods out of the Daily Courier, we're fairly used to that. What use are they? I would challenge Jim Moore to try to try to follow through with the story that we've looked at, where commissioners agreed that on the cost overruns, on the Demick Tower, that they would not bring those cost overruns to the public. Over a hundred thousand dollars. It's not going to be refunded to the county. It's there. Jim Moore, try to follow the story. Commissioner Pierre, do you have to say anything? Uh, no. Okay. All right. Um, I will entertain a motion to approve our administrative action today. 